Uh, it's a really important thing. It's kind of a it's kind of a gross but important topic. Uh, how clean is your chamber, right? How dirty is your chamber? What am I talking about? Uh, I mean, you can just tell by kind of this this this, this material right here. A lot of the chambers, um, you kind of hear that sound here, right? It's kind of a little rubbery, plasticky kind of kind of sensation, right? Um, it's a great lightweight chamber, uh, as a lot of them are, and some of them are portable, especially the the small ones. Okay, but uh, you know when these materials uh, get uh, you know a lot of humidity, maybe like you live in Florida, or maybe your house is really humid, or especially when you get in there and you've been using that thing all the time, right? You got all this humid air coming out of your lungs. You're breathing in there. Maybe you're in there for an hour. Maybe you're in there with your kid. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but it gets really muggy in there. I mean, it gets it's like a steam room <laughs> if you're in there for a while. It's kind of gross. Uh, so what do you got to know? All right. Um, now this this has frames, okay. You can get those optional. Um, these are these are dual fun dual function, okay. It's not to make it look pretty. Um, it's not to be inconvenient. Uh, why do you get this thing? It's because it's first of all easier to get in and out. All right, duh. We know that. That's obvious. It's way easier. It's easier to get into a chamber that's not collapsed on you, right? And it also inflates a hell of a lot faster. Um, you know, it's easier to inflate something that's kind of doesn't have pressure pushing down on it with the frame, okay. But this is what most people don't know, is what breeds bacteria is moisture and having these things touching like this, okay, with all that moisture rubbing around, making all sorts of nasty anaerobic bacteria, okay, that breed in there, and let's say you have a really sensitive immune system, you're trying to get better, but you're breathing in all these contaminants. I mean, who knows what could be brewing in there? So the frame keeps these, everything from touching, all right? That means air can move in and out, especially when you're not using it, all right? Uh, that is one of the most important reasons. You don't want to get sick in your chamber, okay, while you're trying to get over being sick. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's counterproductive. Uh, so get the frames and make sure your chamber stays clean. The other thing that I do is I actually use like a, um, I use a, uh, like a vaporizer type of thing that you can put essential oils in, like these oil or something, where you can spray it down with like grapefruit seed, maybe some like oxygen product, you know, I just actually clean it out maybe like once a week to keep this really, really clean. I think that's really important, especially, especially if you have, you know, somebody else that you're sharing that chamber with, because you don't want to be sharing all the types of bugs that they have, right? Especially if you have two people in that chamber, I mean, because then you're you're creating quite uh, twice the amount of uh, you know you know uh, moisture and humidity that's condensing in there. So, what's another way to keep this thing really cool, um, especially when you have a lot of moisture uh, being formed? This this little baby right here, I don't know what I would do without it. Um, this actually is not just a dampener because you know, of course, compressor can be a little loud. Uh, but it dampens this, the noise, but it also cools the air, all right, that's going in, the oxygen. Um, and cooling um, the, uh, the oxygen is, uh, is vitally important because it actually keeps bacteria from forming, okay? Uh, when that, when now, here's something that most people don't know. If you have, like, a really large compressor, this one's obviously pretty small, okay? Um, and it does the job. It gets the job done. But if you have a really large one, um, those can actually create a little bit of heat, and it'll actually put that heat into the oxygen and actually helps warm up the chamber. That's great in the wintertime. But in the summertime, let me tell you, it gets really hot in there. It's like I do hot yoga, and it kind of reminds me of that. It's kind of crazy. So I have a friend, for example, that has uh, two compressors. Why does he do that? Because he wants twice the airflow going in there. That means he's getting that much extra oxygen in, and it's pushing that much, to twice the amount of uh, humidity and moisture out, okay, through the release valve. So you're getting cycling constantly new air. It makes a big, big difference. Um, or you can ask uh, to upgrade to a larger compressor. So when you get like a larger chamber, this is obviously like a small $5,500 one. But if you get a large chamber, they put in, they give you actually a much, much larger compressor for that. This is what I tell people to do, and this is like a little secret is, uh, you know, they, they really want to make that sale, most of these companies. So just say, you know what, I'd like to really upgrade. You ask, you ask to upgrade to the larger compressor, okay, that you normally use on the larger one, but for the smaller one. By upgrading to that larger compressor, you're going to get a lot less uncomfortable, humid air in there, and you're going to, instead of feeling like you want to get out of there, feeling like you're getting all claustrophobic, 
uh, and then you're gonna have a lot of fresh air coming in. It's like sitting on a plane, you know what I mean? You try to go up there, you try to turn on your air conditioner, oh, and they got that little jet of air coming down, and you can't get it on, and the plane hasn't turned on yet, and it's, the air is getting all, you know, disgusting and dank in there, or after, you know, when you land and they turn off all of the air conditioning, it's kind of like that. So that's the, that's like, <laughs> they're, they're not, you're not gonna hear that when you actually talk to a company. Salespeople aren't gonna tell you that. So I always say, you know what, ask to get the cooler, all right? Say, you know what? I'm not going to settle for anything less. I need this cooler. I need it to. I need it to come with the chamber. I get really claustrophobic. I don't know, say whatever you got to say. Ask to see if you can upgrade to a larger compressor, um, so you get additional airflow in there, um, and get the frame because you don't want to be breeding all sorts of nasty bacteria in that chamber. Okay, you're going in there to stay healthy. So that's my advice. If you have any questions about any of that or how maybe how to keep your chamber clean, give me a call.